Yo, it's a quick video. Um, still doing my beast. It's pretty good, pretty good. Got more beast to sell. Um, the price cut, the market just a bit. Uh, it's about four diff, one by one. But you'll still sell them at more than 4.5, or at least more than four on TFT in bulk. I'll sell them in like nine or ten each. Um, it's not like for four diff for nine, so it's still still good profit. Anyway, just gonna make a quick video. So we've got some spare essences. I've seen still farming. So I wanted to show you how to make some money making rings quickly. Uh, I saw quite a few, for like twenty diff. Um, some of these ones I'll I'll have to drop them every now and then. Like this thirty, I don't think it'll sell thirty, but stuff like this. It's a triple attribute life rarity minus mana. I check the price on something similar. Uh, I think I'll add region on. Yeah, so it's about five. Let's drop it down to three. Someone's competing with me. Cool. Anyway, to show you. I'll scout them. We don't care what's on this. Let's bless these up to 23. It doesn't matter that much, but it just kind of shows that you care enough to spend a, well, a few C just to blast them up. Uh, and you kind of want to be selling complete rings. Cool. Then you want to attribute these up. What this does is it uh, makes them more likely to spawn attributes and obviously increases the attributes we roll on them. And now what we're looking for is... Uh, some useful suffixes so we are forcing one of the attributes so you want at least like t2 of another attribute and either a res or recoup as live or something else rarity is fine this league so we'll just continue until we hit something good all res is kind of bad you don't do that one um no nah. Because we want to do prefixes after. Yep, this will do. T1 first, strength, lightning cold. This will sell. People still need resistances. Uh, accuracy would sell, but not with uh, a low tier. Accuracy, no one really cares about, but it's a T1 strength. Let's just press check this. There's one, let's drop it down. Really? There is only, okay. Well, let's, let's drop this as well. Okay, so accuracy cancel. Yeah, a couple of devs, so we'll keep that. Next one. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, T5, no. And this one is empty. So with empty ones, we'll just select this. So if we fill up the prefix and guarantee a suffix. T2 carries rest. This will sell 100%. Uh, actually, that might be. Uh, no. Could downgrade mine. Yes. That's not. Um, no, nah, it's the mm. T1 rarity. If... That's a maybe. If I run out, I'll, I'll keep it. No, this one is uh, <laughs> default T6. So that might be good enough, actually. Yeah, craft it. Okay, so we'll just reroll this one as well. Cool. Hmm. 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 All attributes is typically bad. 
Um, that's really wrong. That's much better. It's a mix, mix pack of random ones. Oh, it's five rings. So now what we want to do is craft prefixes cannot be changed. Veil. And you're left with, well, most of the time you'll be left with a clean base. Let's do the same for this. Okay. And this is costing uh, two diff. So essentially your ring has to be worth more than like three diff for this to be worth it. Otherwise, just craft life or craft minus mana, which call it a day. You're not at this stage of, uh, of doing this. I hit T3 rarity. That's not bad. Cool. So now what we want to do mana, any tier, cheapest will do. And we're going to basically block a bunch of mana mods from the Veiled pool. And this will give us about 80% chance of unveiling life. So that's all of them. So I'm expecting one of these to not work, just from averages. But maybe. Yeah, there you go. So what I can do, it can roll every single elemental double mod, which kind of sucks. Thankfully, it hit on the worst rink we've done. Uh, I'll take the craft call lightning. And this is still fine. This already has a prefix on it, so I can't even slam it. Uh, so I will just craft minus max still. We'll see if this is worth anything. Six diff, maybe closer to five. We'll just list it at five. Cool. And with these ones, some of them will be filled, these three are not. So, what we can do is just slam these with the mana still left on there. T4 evasion. Ooh, Ooh that's good. T1 wet on the good accuracy one. This is very nice. And T5 fizz. Cool. And then these three just need minus mana. You want seven? Uh, you want to craft this for people? Uh, even this late into the league, people just aren't doing June, so they might just need these. Uh, yeah, no. that's a bull call me tap, my dude. Cool. So let's check these. Uh, Lightning, I wouldn't even bother checking, that's just a dead mod, but you can see these are, these are listed for like 20 diff. I saw the very similar one, uh, T1, T2. Put this one there. So yeah, listed for 18. You kind of want to just sell them, you don't want to sell them. If you're crafting these for yourself, obviously you can just sell them, buy more currency, keep making these as you go. Five this one's fourteen. Oh, because it has res on it. Yeah, we'll just put that ten. This is the yeah, this is the double res one. It's nice that it has draft because that just gives it more life as well. But T five is not ideal. This one now, this is a. An interesting ring. T1 Wet is one of the rarest mods you could actually hit on this. Let's check this. There's one listed for 60. It's obviously not going to have accuracy, it's going to have something else. Let's just check what he has. He's got. Oh, he's got triple. Yeah, so he's got tier four 
dexterity. Um, I think he does have a better rank uh, than this. Like accuracy is, it's not bad by any means. It's just not that actually desirable. Let's put this in at 40. See if anyone buys it. Let's remove these expensive. Okay. Just so they're away from the garbage. So these cheaper ones, I would reduce the price by death every couple of hours until they sell. Um, keep it above two death, essentially, just so you still profit. Um, but yeah, I've made quite a few of these. I usually make these at the start of the league, but because people are uh, still catching up somehow, I don't know, people are just poor or something, they'll still need these kind of rings. Uh, as they upgrade the builds and stuff. Anyway, just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, am I sure? Um, I don't know. I might do one for clusters. Basically, it's it's the ones I get from the low level zones, and I pick up good bases and just crafting them. Uh, stuff like this: vast power magnifier, over as AOE. That's too diff. Uh, renewal with some life and res, that's another div. Renewal with chaos damage. Yeah, these will slowly sell. I don't expect them to go very quickly. Uh, stuff like this. Basics basics of pain, quick gateway on a crit. That's nice with chaos res, that's bad div. Um, if they don't sell by like Oh, tomorrow, the day after, I'll just chuck him in a 120 tab. He does some more similar jewels. Let's do a repeater with some good mods. This one's just random 35, just for fracturing. Anyway, I'll stop here. Um, yeah, I'm still doing beasts. Uh, it's pretty good. Picked up buses. Every now and then you'll get a unique jewel for that. I'll drop the middle cluster because yeah, you don't need quant. These seance, I've actually did some more thinking about it, and I think these are pretty good. Um, just because of the additional quant you get from the touch monsters. Every now and then you'll get a, a pretty nice drop off of gilded scarabs and stuff. Um, I've not done like any real scarab generating content, and this is just like raw drops. Uh, obviously, I'm buying beast jewelry ones, but yeah. Cool. Anyway, good luck. Have fun. I uh, should have another video soon. Maybe I'll just cover some more strategies around it, like low budget. Uh, obviously, Kira re rolling. Keep doing that. Free money. So he's at 270. Yeah, I should probably lower that a bit. Cool. See you later. Have fun.